Thank you very much. Thank you very much, and uh, good afternoon. Um, the, this session pertains to the economics or economic aspect of uh, water quality monitoring. Uh, I did put something together uh, for the purpose, but I'm no economist. I'm not much uh, involved in water quality monitoring per se. Um, but there are some aspects of uh, this discussion uh, lead me to think about, of course, the Lake Biwa, Yodol River, uh, and also many of the issues that we're facing globally on what I call the Atlantic uh, water environments, um, which I will describe in just a few minutes. Um, let's see. The question is, you know, what is economics of water quality monitoring? I think you know better than myself or the professor Nazov, uh, the economist. But uh, let me try and see if I would be able to relate what I had to say or what I have in mind. The, but first of all, let's define water quality monitoring as something probably not so familiar uh, with you in terms of use of the terms. But let's say the catalytic actions of acquisition, analysis, interpretation of data and information on the state of lentic lotic. I'll come back to this lentic lotic water systems and for gradual, incremental, and long-term improvement of their basin governance. And I tried to, uh, uh, to uh, uh, do my best to make my point on this. The basin uh, consists, lake basin, river basin, consists of a very complex uh, combination of Atlantic lotic waters. Atlantic meaning standing bodies of water, lotic, the moving water, but all in terms of ecosystems and human nature interactions in a historic context. Atlantic water behaves rather uh, uniquely. It has the integrating nature, the stresses come from all over the uh, upstream, downstream, so on and so forth. Long retention time, longer than uh, river waters. Complex response dynamics, we have been presented on lots of these complex response dynamics in chemistry, biology, physics taking place, particularly inside the lake in a way that is very difficult uh, to predict. Everything affects everything else. And that has management implications. One, issues are mostly inseparable. Two, changes are gradual and mostly invisible, that's why we're monitoring is very important, often unpredictable and uncontrollable. And these are very uh, unique uh, features of waters that has Atlantic properties, like lakes, reservoirs, uh, wetlands, and, and, and so on. Let's look at the Biwa Yodo Basin. The Biwa Yodo Basin uh, you have already been introduced on this. Um, uh, we have uh, 14 million pe people using water, but in terms of the uses of water, it's uh, water being used, discharged, used and discharged and so on. And one comp ca characterization is the very downstream Yodo River the people use water that went through human bodies four times. So it's a very complex uh, system and has a very congested resource use. Of course, we have these many plans. We have many uh, regulations, uh, standards, and so on and so forth. And that constitute uh, the uh, very uh, uh, complex systems and management challenges in uh, sustain sustainable use. Water supplies in Shiga Prefecture, for example, 68% uses Lake Bia water, 
but even downstream Kyoto and Osaka, mostly the river water, but they, they all come from Lake Biwa. So the uh, use of water uh, is, is all related to this uh, particular form of water, Atlantic Lord Complex, but mainly Atlantic water, but the waters are also used and discharged, wastewater discharged into the lake, in the case of Shiga Prefecture, into the rivers, particularly, for example, in the Osaka water supply, is only a few kilometers downstream of the wastewater discharge of Kyoto. Okay, so it's very uh, complexly interlinked. Shiga discharge Kyoto source, Kyoto discharge Osaka source. So the water quality monitoring roles and responsibility of Shiga Prefecture, particularly in terms of regulatory monitoring, effluent quality discharge into water courses leading to Lake Biwa, ambient monitoring of lake water quality. I'll touch on this later on. Kyoto, the same. Shiga, I mean the Osaka, also has its own uh, issues and challenges of having to deal with this a very complex problem. A broader range of monitoring activities, drinking water quality surveillance, regulatory monitoring with the reference, ambient monitoring in flowing rivers into the Lake Biwa, and of course ecosystem status and trends, eutrophication, sediments, and so on and so forth, are very much a uh, uh, challenge for the Shiga Prefecture. Kyoto and Osaka are pretty much the same, except that they deal with the Yodo River, which also sourced from Lake Biwa. The ambient water quality monitoring of Lake Biwa, of course, spans a wide range of challenges, particularly in terms of eutrophication, COD, total nitrogen, total phosphorus, but at the same time, you have the, the uh, trends that come out of this uh, various activities. Uh, and uh, there are some improvements. There have been some improvements over the past 35 years. Transparency, total phosphorus, and total nitrogen. But the COD is increasing. It's a quite puzzling situation. But in terms of the aquatic environment, habitat not restored to the level that is we want. And the major issues is really the habitat destruction, invasive species, and the global climate change impacts. Shiga Prefecture, uh, in terms of payment, the drinking water surveillance, water users pay the tariffs to the municipals. SME autonomous uh, enterprises, regulatory monitoring of efference, the ch discharges pay, ambient monitoring in flowing rivers, that is basically being supported by the, the general public in terms of payment uh, in, in way of tax to government. Kyoto and Osaka, pretty much the same, uh, except there are some transaction of monetary transaction between the downstream to the upstream because of the use of uh, Lake Beer water in a scheme called the Lake Beer Comprehensive Development Project. But overall, we are talking about something, okay, uh, yes, I have uh, gone over this. So uh, in terms of uh, who pays, how much to whom for monitoring, uh, we have uh, this situation. But some key determinants of the economics of water quality monitoring, let's see how we can uh, envision that. One, conventional thought would be to address the cost of efficiency, numbers of parameters and so on and so forth. That is a very conventional approach. But I think it's probably useful to look at the economics more in terms of regulatory monitoring activities are generally sequentially linked or the basins that we have already discussed. Ambient, and ambient water quality monitoring is indispensable of Atlantic water systems like lakes and estuaries. So the linkages exist for upstream downstream. 
withdraw discharges cause effect relationship through uh, though they may be only marginally coordinated and that is a very challenging situation in terms of economics of what what is monitoring in terms of ambient we have already mentioned that the three features of uh, Atlantic waters becoming a very challenging in terms of the span of economic investment in terms of uh, the research, uh, knowing uh, what is taking place really uh, for uh, policy making is uh, uh, much to be uh, 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 learned about in terms of uh, investment and the cost of monitoring. So the tentative observations would be the economics of water quality monitoring depends very much on policies, programs, institutions, and water use relationship of the system in question. It depends, uh, uh, it spans a wide range of governance challenges, water management, especially in relation to natural anthropogenic hydrological cycles, including the nature of source water, water use, discharges, and in the Atlantic Logic Basin environment. The third observation may be that the challenges facing Atlantic bodies of water are of particular importance because of their behavioral features that we have already discussed. And lastly, let's look at a little bit more on the Atlantic water systems. The economics of monitoring is an important issue facing the governance improvement of the integrated lake basin management. What is integrated lake basin management? This is in relation to other global debates on water, like integrated water resources management, integrated river basins management, but those two concepts do not seem to have this very important features of Atlantic waters that has the uh, long retention time, integrated nature, and complex response dynamics. Okay, so these are the six pillars of uh, integrated basin management. Integrated basin management takes place on a long-term improvement of basin governance in which the measurement of the governance improvement has a three uh, uh, indicators that we use. And the third one is pretty much what is the what uh, water quality improvement is about. So, with all these things, the conclusion is, economics of water quality monitoring may be defined as a societal imperative for addressing how efficiently and effectively we should generate, interpret, and use the catalytic information, the monitoring, to change for the better the governance of Atlantic Lotic Basin systems. And that probably is a much broader conceptual framework that applies to a broad global challenge of water management, as well as to the linkages or the policy uh, challenges, institutional challenges, and scientific uh, and uh, uh, instrumental, chal instrumental, uh, instrumental challenges of water quality monitoring. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Nakamura. Now we have, uh, okay, maybe two questions. Thank you very much. Who sets and determines the water and wastewater tariffs here in Japan? Um, the tariff, the water use tariff, basically is a semi-autonomous enterprises, semi-governmental enterprises that manages water and the water production costs and so on and so forth are being sort of uh, uh, accounted for for determining the water tariff system. So it varies one from one place to another. But when it comes into decision, are water users also involved in that 
setting. Yes, I, uh, water users are involved in several stages. Of course, there will be a lot of hearing. Uh, I think it's very difficult for the managers to come up with a water tariff and then impose on them. So from the very beginning, there is a pretty you know, sort of big debate as to how the, the water debate should be. And then expert group meeting. And then finally, we have the, uh, the, the hearing of uh, final uh, decision making. Thank you. It's very interesting concept. So if we look at this concept, conceptual um, f framework you have introduced, so the economics of monitoring is, goes actually beyond only the monitoring. It goes like, throughout the whole cycle of water. So it is maybe more of the economics of the water resource management or how it, yeah. yeah. This is something that we have to ask, you know, like, people like uh, Professor Yazanolov and, and uh, other economists. I think this is a one major area where I think that the water quality monitoring has, has a much broader profile, much broader challenges to face because it may be a catalytic driver of the water challenge, and, which I, I don't think has not been the case because the water monitoring and, and, and uh, instrumentation is pretty much uh, sort of confined with a very narrow uh, disciplinary areas, and I think this crossing over all the way to the policies, institutions, and that's where the economics come in, in a very productive way, and that's the reason why I think this definition, discussion and definition would be very useful. <laughs>